meeting. Uh, we approve it written. I second. <clears throat> Moved and seconded. We approve as presented. Additional discussion. Hearing none. All those in favor, so we'll say aye. 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 All right. Election of officers. Randy. Okay. Um, since we had two new board members, we had to fill the, the vacancies with new officers. We can do this one of two ways complete the slate all with one nomination, or we can do separate nominations. So, uh, how does the board want to proceed? We could do it with one nomination. One. One, okay. At this time, I'll open up the floor for nominations for president, secretary, and treasurer. I move the ones that are listed. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. Kenny? I move for Ken Barrett for president. Okay. And any other nominations for president? How about secretary? Gus? Yeah. Me. No. Okay, we got a nomination for Beth Fisher for... And then for treasurer, do I have a nomination? Mr. Seth Regas. Okay. Okay, are there any other nominations for, for these officers? Hearing none. I move the nomination to be closed. Okay, the nominations have been closed. All in favor of the slate of officers has been nominated. Signified by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same same. Okay, very good. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ken. Okay. Congratulations, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the financials for June, Chris. I'll just go quickly through the cash flow statement on page one. We uh, took in $673,032 for the month, spent $495,172, not including our monthly transfers to our other uh, funds for the month. Left us with an ending balance of $683,784. Spent uh, 44898 for inventory and about uh, $33,033 for capital. Move on to page two. Our uh, resale sales were up a little bit compared to the prior year and up a little over forecast and our meter industrial governmental sales were, were up as well a little bit. We have um, our source of supply and pumping line is way below forecast but we had some tank painting put in there and so far we haven't had any billings yet so that's the difference there. Our uh, water treatment line is a little over forecast but we had two billings from the sanitation department for sludge removal and that was about $14,000 that fell in there. Left us with a net income for the month of 154,257. If we go to page three, our uh, June of this year only had two payrolls. June of the prior year had three, so that's why you see the big difference on the payroll numbers. And our sludge billing is about the only thing that took us over forecast on this. Uh, water and sanitation line item. Everything else is pretty close or below. And actually, if there's not any questions, that's all I've got. Any questions for Chris? I have one. No. I'll entertain a motion to approve the financials as presented. I move to approve the financials as presented. Second. Motion to second to approve the financials as presented. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. All right. Good awards. Folks. Okay. We have Mr. Doyle here with us tonight, but uh, yesterday we had the bid opening for the three warm ditch uh, water main relocations and the eight inch 
uh, Forest Main sewer line uh, relocation as part of the INDOTS project to relocate that structure. Um, because the sanitary district will be awarding their portion tomorrow at their board meeting, uh, we will only be able to tentatively award this. But the two bidders that we had was uh, Grimmer Construction out of um, Highland, Indiana, and Woodruff and Sons from Michigan City. Woodruff and Sons were the apparent low bidders on this, and I would entertain a motion that we award this to Woodruff and Sons in the amount, the total amount of $289,995.88 with the department share uh, broken down by Mr. Doyle of $205,043.89 and the remaining would be the sanitary share of $84,951.99. Um, again, this is in conjunction with the INDOT project they need to do. We need to move our mains out of those wing walls and into an easement uh, so they can proceed. I move it to the superintendent. Second. Okay, there's a motion and a second to approve the, the Brett Woodruff's bid for the Scuba Arms Ditch Project. Any question? Any discussion? What is uh, sanitation being done? Uh, they they need to relocate a eight inch force main to the north of our main, also being in an easement. Um, that main there of theirs is in really bad condition, and so it's going to have to be relocated anyway. But uh, but their cost for their portion of this is again eighty four thousand nine hundred fifty one dollars in some odd sense. So I guess I'm asking why is it. Big discrepancy. We have any more than Well, we got two mains to relocate where they only have the one, and ours is 12 inch on both sides, where theirs is 8 inch. Okay. Any other questions? No, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? And this will only be awarded once the sanitary district then approves uh, their cost. Purchase orders. Okay, you have a list of three items in front of you. Uh, leaps copper for leaps for copper for stock for one thousand eight thirty-five. Chrome crane for new um, crane cabling and chains for the, the hoist at the plants and our booster stations. Some of those are well over twenty years old and they're starting to fray and the chains are getting stretched. So they have to all be replaced. That was part of our findings with the inspection for $19,858.05. And then Deutsche construction for various concrete repairs throughout the city on the sidewalks to repair concrete for $3,350. All right, questions and purchase you say these chains have to be replaced? Yeah, the, the oh, links. Links. well, this is the first time we've replaced them in over 20 years. What do you do with those old chains? They get rid of them. Yeah, no recycling or anything like I, that? Well, they, they probably do, but I mean, the, we didn't ask the question, I guess. We can take them and recycle them. You know? No, I mean, they give us some kind of credit. No, no, they they chain. no I don't know. Just a question, it might be stupid, but yeah. I can, I can find out, but I, I doubt they'll just take them and scrap them out themselves. All right, moving on, the uh, pay request for the payroll update. Okay, you have uh, pay request number one uh, that was submitted by Dixon Engineering of Fetua Construction for our tank main project on the Carroll Ave tank in the amount of $106,470. Everything seems to be back on track and going well. Um, and this is the recommendation from Dixon Engineering, and I concur that we should make the first payment. I wouldn't hurt. Okay. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve. We <coughs> motion and second. Do we approve pay request number one on the Carol Tank project? Carol Tank project. Any additional discussion? 
Okay. Uh, and we're now in some of those in at those. So she carries. All right. The new financial software billing system. And we do give an overview on that. Um, I think I sent a copy of this to everyone to read and review. Um, the city has purchased a new billing software that was pretty much had to be done last year or early in, or later in 2017 uh, because their software and company or went out of business or it couldn't be updated or something. So uh, the city was kind of in a panic. They bought this new software from Tyler Technologies and they added uh, the utility billing portion of that as an addendum to this this software and, and for whatever reason I don't know why but they did and um, so we had uh, a webcast presentation we seen it. Uh, we asked that we have a visual or sit down meeting with these people because a webcast doesn't really answer all the questions so we we waited and waited and waited we finally got a sit down meeting with them we went to another webcast got more questions answered we felt more comfortable with them um, so then we asked for a price on, on having this software and financial package presented to the department um, and they did that well come to find out the program from the cities we would lose control over security of our billing system uh, because they don't know who would do it and as far as Tyler told me we couldn't put it in our name because the license was sold to the city so if we want to have control over the billing system our financials and payroll we have to do our own software program whether it be Tyler or SSI who we currently have so we went back to Tyler we got uh, two additional costs in, in addition to what the city had paid and also SSI's cost. And I, I put these down as, as four options for the board to look at. You have the pricing in front of you, um, and it's up to the board as to what option you feel is best for the part department. But first of all, you gotta keep in mind that security is number one, especially with customer information. Uh, if, if we lose control of that, who knows who can get in and change it. Uh, second thing is if we put it on our server we know we're going to be more secure and and with, with what's going on if we go to a, a cloud-based system it will be secure a lot of people are doing it I'm, I'm just not 100% sold on that system yet but if we go to that system through Tyler uh, we would have to have a secondary um, internet connection in case one would go down because once we have customers in here and, and the internet goes down we've got to have a backup so we can com communicate with the off-site server so at this time uh, Kenny and that's the, the gist of it you know what the pricing is on our, uh, you and I have talked and and um, so now if you can talk to the board right, I went over the numbers and then the cost differential is significant. Option one is by far the cheapest for us. And it's also the most secure. Well, I mean, we don't go through a transition. We work with the same vendor we have been for years. And, uh, well, Chris, you've had experience with them. What's your opinion? They, they're very responsive. Um, they, they react quickly when we put in requests for changes and when we get things back it's correct and it works. Um, I, I haven't got any complaints with, with the service and I've been here three years now this month and, and they've been very, very good to work with. Chris Johnson, do you have any input? Obviously maintaining the same vendor that we currently have uh, does make transfer of data a lot easier from old software to new software. Uh, but uh, in the end, I mean, it's it's up to the board. I think we can make either system work. Uh, it's based.
basically with the big the big concern I have is with the security aspect of it. We do have we do have customers with detailed personal data in our system that we need to keep under control. So the only difference would be that it's not cloud based. We have our own. You know, it would be set up on our server just like it is now. Right. Where yeah. it's not. That's the only difference. If we go with the other. That's what you're. Well, we no. I, I got cloud. a price in there from S, from Tyler to put it on our server as well. There, there's the one price from Tyler is using the city's server and their 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 way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Another price from Tyler, which is option three, is putting on our server here. Option four is, is having it under our control through Tyler, but put on their server. Option one is SSI, which is the, the most economical. And it, it does what we can do, and it will give the sanitary district the same operations they have now. And we'll also be able to interface and, and give the, the information to the city controllers needs, and everything will be practical. That was coincide with their system, yeah. basically. Yeah. Well, and everything will be. We can give them more security. Yep. Basically, yep. Yep. it'll be a view only for him, and he'll be able to download what he needs. Are there any public numbers available on what difference in cost between one and three? Yeah. It's, it's in there, Dave. Three is uh, oh, non recurring cost, one time cost of 393000 Option one is even one Now, on the option three, you get <clears throat> your recurring cost of 19000 a year. On option one, it's 30000 that last one, yeah. 30000 So there's a $10,000 yeah. $10, difference in recurring costs. Cost us that much more. But we're saving uh, 250000 bucks on the upfront costs. So we can get a new system or two by the Any other questions? No? I'll entertain a motion. Uh, I, no, I've got another question. Um, your recommendation is one. That's up to the board. I'm not. I'm not going to step up into this because I think the board needs to. I. I, I mean, from an operating point of view. In an operating point of view, I think option one would be our best choice. Yes, because it's it's we're, we're it's ratepayer money we, we're concerned with. It's the security we're concerned with, and the control of the system is what we're concerned. So which one has the best security? Though? Like, it I, I like think it so far we've maybe. never had a we never had an issue with with SSI. Well, that's not the question. I, I know these but options. What's the best security? I, option one or option three would be my recommendation for good security. Option one is is better, more economical cost for us, which is who we use now, and and I'm I'm in, fine with that. Option three would work for us as well, but it's more expensive. I haven't, I haven't met with the city controller out, and they indicated what we carry into it. What we do, um, they can save them any money. As long as they get the financials as they need, they, they should have much. Okay. Oh, I think I should have one. Basically, yeah. I don't two. Sounds like one for us. How about you? Well, I think we have to have a motion as well. Yeah, can you yeah, ask to entertain for a motion? I make a motion. We choose option one. I second. There's a motion to second. We choose option one. Let's do it with SSI. For the financial billing <coughs> and software program. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? 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 Motion carries. Okay. Um, you want me to go ahead and sign the proposal for this and the PO and get that sent back to Okay. We'll get that done. Uh, 
business. Okay. Um, yeah, I do. All our lights have been changed in the office now, back to LEDs. Um, and with that, we received a refund from NIPSCO in the amount of $750. Sounds like a good Christmas card to you. Maybe. <laughs> All right, any other old business? And then um, all the board members will be getting an a email from the state auditor. You know, we got an exit conference on Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Um, normally the president goes to this. It's up to the board whether they want to attend or not, but it's not mandatory. They just have to send everybody a notice. So I think Kenny's aware of that and he's plans on being there. So. City Hall. Oh. Monday. Nine o'clock. Did I get uh, that? I did get one. Am I supposed to get one? Well, I don't know if they sent you them yet. Oh. Yeah, they, yeah, did, they did. Yeah, they sent it out this afternoon. Okay, fine. You'll be able to know. But I put one in your packet, too. Okay. Oh. So. Right, anything else? No business. Any, uh, any new business? Any public comments? Speak up. All right. Motion, motion, to motion to adjourn. Second. All right.